everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am starting off this vlog in Italy. I am so extremely excited to be here right now. My voice is a little raspy because we just got off the plane, came all the way here. We rented some cars and drove through these really cute, beautiful, windy country roads, through vineyards and everything, see the mountains, and we got to our house. We're staying in a very small town. It's by the town Crema. I don't know if you've seen the movie Call Me By Your Name, but that movie takes place in that town and its surrounding areas. And we are kind of doing the same type of thing. We are gonna head out to get some food soon because we're very, very hungry, but I'm gonna give you guys a little tour. Of Italy today. Yesterday was so much fun. We got in kind of late because our flight was a little delayed and then took a bit of time to rent our cars and then about an hour and a half to drive here. I'll have a link listed down below if you guys want to see the um, exact place that we stayed at. And then we got freshened up. We went into town to try to find food and this is something that it's like on my mind and it was on our minds but we kind of didn't realize it was like gonna happen but most places aren't open for food between like two and four and it was like three and we hadn't eaten at all and we were starving and every place was closed so we finally found a grocery store went in bought a bunch of bread and cold cuts and vegetables just made like salads and sandwiches it's amazing like it was so good we um, kind of chilled out for the rest of the day and then after that head out to get pizza which was amazing we found this super small local restaurant they barely spoke english it was only italian people in there and it was like popping like there were so many people it was incredible i had the best pizza the best pistachio gelato so yummy the wine they said was amazing i just had like sparkling water and like a diet coke <laughs> because i'm 12 years old but no i'm the dedicated driver so i'm making sure that i'm okay cheese mm -hmm. oh my god yeah mm. Okay guys, day three here in Italy. Wow, it's so bright. I'm trying to keep my eyes open right now. Oh my gosh. Yesterday was a very exciting day because we got to head to a small little town in the mountains called Altissimo. The reason why we went there is because part of my family originated from this little town. My grandfather on my, so my dad's father, was born and raised there until World War II where he had to go serve and then after the war he was relocated to Sabaudia. But his whole family and his ancestry all originated from this small little town in the mountains and I've always wanted to go visit. The only person in my family who has ever seen it is my aunt not even my father and my aunt went with my grandfather at the time she got to see where he was raised and the house that he lived in i was like i'm here i'm close i would love to experience this small town and it was absolutely stunning nobody spoke english it's very small we're just taking a few vlog clips right now but i got a little emotional just because it's so crazy being here right now i have a lot of fond memories of him and he meant a lot to my dad and my dad means a lot to me so when we got there i was just kind of filled with emotion and it was just really cool to see kind of like where my name originated from because chentomo is a pretty big name there and there's a lot of like stores and shops and stuff that are named chentomo and so it was really cool and supposedly we have like a family crest and everything and it was just surreal to be there and i was very grateful to be able to do that and especially with the people that i was with so then from that small town we drove back down the mountain and then we headed to verona and verona is such a beautiful city the reason why we decided to go there for one hearing many things about how beautiful it is shakespeare actually based romeo and juliet off of this town he had never been personally but he wrote the story based off of verona and there's actually like Juliet's house is there um, where you can write letters to Juliet. The balcony is there. It was really cool to go check that out. Plus we wanted to see the Colosseum. But we stopped for lunch at this really small restaurant where they had homemade pasta and it was 
incredible. I got spaghetti with tomato sauce. It was so good. And everyone else kind of just got wine and hung out. We chilled a little bit. Walked a tiny bit around Verona because we had a wine tasting to go to. So we hopped in the car, went over to the wine tasting. Uh, if I can find a direct link to the exact one we went to, I'll leave it down below in the description. It was so good. It Basically, I think it was a family house because the uh, waiters were brother and sister. I say waiters. I don't know if that's what they are. I've never done this before, but it was incredible. They brought us three different types of wine that they make and all different years. They explain what the wine is. So Racuna, red wine, 2017. Uh, it is a blend, a mix of Merlot, 70% more or less from vines 30 years old, and Corvina, the typical grapes of the Bardolino, 30%. They talked a little bit about their business and then they brought it with kind of like finger food to try it with, something that with what the food tasted best with the wine. And then after we were finished with that, they let us take a basket of glasses and another bottle of wine and walk up the little mountain through the vineyard to a beautiful view of the little town. We got to see a lake with a beautiful church and the mountains in the distance, watch the sunset next to a vineyard. It was surreal. It was, I don't know, I just felt so blessed and grateful yesterday. It was such an amazing day and then um, after we hung out for a little bit we drove all the way back to our little house kind of played some card games ordered pizza which from a local restaurant they deliver some pizza was unreal we got five full pizzas for 22 euros to me that's just insane and we had so much fun we ended up going to bed super late like I think I was in bed by 3 a.m. it was insane and then we um, are up this morning and I'm so excited for today because we are going into the small town of Crema okay guys day four here in italy my voice is a little bit raspy because i slept around maybe an hour and a half to two hours last night for some reason i don't know if it was jet lag or i just couldn't sleep but we had a time to be up this morning and I was like every single half hour I was like make sure you go to sleep make sure you go to sleep mine was just like racing and stuff but that's okay because um, I'm super excited for the day yesterday unfortunately Dan was feeling really sick he woke up um, with like super stuffy nose a cough a headache he had chills he like his skin was sensitive to the touch so we we're like okay I think you have a fever so he stayed home for most of the day but the rest of us went to a small town of Crema the town Town is absolutely amazing. I highly recommend if you guys are going to the north of Italy to stop by at least once. It's a small town but it still feels kind of big and it's not busy at all like very local. Obviously you'll get a little bit of tourism but they clearly love the fact that the movie was filmed there because they had this little display out with a table and like two bikes that were actually from the movie. They have a little thing set up where they have the table and the bikes that they saw at during the movie and then here's the little view so that was really cool the surrounding areas are like farmlands and dirt roads I just really felt like I was in the middle of Italy especially when like waiters and people can barely speak English and you're really trying to communicate and you're you know either pointing at a menu item or you're like showing Google Translate then we all came back to the house we relaxed a little bit got changed and we headed back to Verona because we decided to go there for dinner and it was really cool to see more Verona we got to see the other side of the Colosseum which we hadn't seen the day before and we didn't realize the side we saw was all under construction and when we walked around to the front it wasn't it was super beautiful to see we had like the open it wasn't exactly a piazza but it's like a big open area where they have a bunch of restaurants lined up looking at the Colosseum and it was just so beautiful definitely a lot busier there with a lot more tourists um, and everyone speaks English which was great the food was still amazing and Dan came with us for that but then he started feeling a little bit sick again so I left with him but got back to the house wanted to get an early sleep which obviously didn't happen but yesterday all in all was a really really fun day and today I'm excited because we are heading to Lake Como so I cannot wait for that because it's just gonna be like incredible okay guys <laughs> Different day, same location. I just got out of the shower, so I'm feeling very fresh. Yesterday was honestly so much fun. We drove around two hours to Lake Como, and can I just say it was probably 
first of all, the most beautiful drive I've ever done in my entire life. And second, most beautiful place I've ever been. Lake Como is now officially my favorite place in the entire world. It beats everything. It was absolutely breathtaking. Got there around lunchtime and we found this little beach called Giovanni Secret Beach, I'm pretty sure it's called, or Giacomo or something. I will have it linked down below if you guys are curious to check out the same beach if you guys are planning on going to Lake Como. There's free parking and the beach is free. The only thing you have to pay is a five euro for a lawn chair if you want a lawn chair, but you don't have to, you can just bring towels. The food was incredible. They were making fresh paninis, they had pasta, they had such a full menu, drinks, like, and it was very affordable. Lake Como is in the north of Italy, so it's surrounded by the Alps. And I think this is the reason why I think it's so beautiful because for one, I'm obsessed with nature. I love mountains. The Rockies are one of my favorite places in the entire world. When I went to Switzerland, it was insane to see the Alps and so having the combination of the Alps and Italy was fantastic. I was just kind of in heaven. After we ate, we decided to rent some lawn chairs, set up a little spot by the water, and we kind of just chilled all day. Swam in the lake, we went out to the docks, jumped off the docks. We decided to head to this restaurant, and it was at a hotel. I forget the name of the hotel, but I will have that exact hotel listed down below because the food was incredible. It's known for the best fish in all of Como, and we... Well, I... I didn't get fish, I got vegetable soup because I was just really craving like a soup. It was so good, oh my God. After our dinner, we decided to make the drive home and we got home really late, like around midnight. We were out all day, but it felt so good. As you can tell from my voice, I just woke up, got ready. We have another long day today. We are headed to Venice. Volare, oh, oh, cantare, oh, oh, oh. Let's fly way up to the clouds. Okay guys, continuing this video back home from Italy. As you could see, I have my laundry all set up. So our last full day in Italy was actually so much fun. We decided to go to Venice for the day and we had no plans to go to Venice this entire trip, but we had randomly figured out that it was only an hour and a half drive away. So we were like, why are we not doing this? I had always wanted to go. I didn't really know anyone that wanted to go. I had heard mixed reviews, but for me it was more just like a bucket list thing. So we drove an hour and a half to a parking lot there's like three main parking lots that you can go to you can even take a train there but we decided to drive since we had a car the parking was around 25 euros and then you take a ferry into Venice onto like the main areas so there's no cars there it's only walking or boats um the ferry was seven euros one way so we decided to hop on the ferry and go to the main area which had like the piazza with the church and the museum and everything walked around there for a little bit I have to admit though, there were a lot of people and if you are the type of person that does not like traveling with a lot of people, like a lot of tourists and feeling like quote unquote cattle, then it might not be the best place for you. <laughs> Way different than you think it would. I, know. <laughs> I was a little overwhelmed and feeling a little claustrophobic and Pat told me that that wasn't even half as bad as when he had gone last time. So I can't even imagine like how packed it is. It was a little shocking to say the least. But I do have to say that it was still incredibly beautiful I just really like wandering the streets and finding the places that didn't have very many people We actually headed to the Hotel Danielli, which was the hotel that was set in the movie The Tourist Julia had actually stayed there years ago. So that was pretty cool We went to the rooftop bar, which is open to the public and got a few drinks So it was really cool to see that then after we were on a mission to find a gondola because I wanted to go on a gondola So bad everyone always told me they were overpriced, but I was like, I don't care I want to spend my money on this because it's just like a bucket list thing. So it was a hundred euros um, I don't know if that was like 50 euros per person because it was just me and Dan or if it's a hundred euros just for the boat I'm not too sure it was just me and Dan that went on the boat and rather than just like sit there and film a ton We filmed a little bit at the beginning, but then like after five minutes We were like, you know what? There's just no point in like taking pictures or filming this. Let's just enjoy this It was so romantic. We kind of just sat back and looked around at all the buildings the man who was rowing the boat was kind of telling us a little bit about Venice and he was whistling and playing some music which was really honestly so beautiful to the point where Dan actually fell asleep because he was so relaxed. 
It was really fun. It was around 35 minutes, I believe. And after that, we met up with the rest of the group, had some more drinks, then headed to, I think it's called Plaza Gritty. I could be wrong. It's part of the luxury collective hotels and they hooked us up. Like we sat by the water, got drinks, got a cheese platter. It was so good. And by this time it was really quiet. I feel like a lot of people start to go for dinner around this time and we sat there until the sunset. And then we were all kind of tired and it was around 11 p.m. and we had an hour and a half drive home. So we were like, okay, should we walk 15 minutes to the ferry or should we just get a private boat to come pick us up? So that's what we did. We got on a private boat. We all got on. It was around 75 euros total. So we split between the six of us. It was perfect. And we just had a super quick private tour of Venice all the way back to the parking lot. The name's Bond, James Bond. It's the boat that he took. And we're on it. The tourist boat. Oh. The one where Angelina, she goes in and like, picks up Johnny, Johnny Depp. The name's XO. <laughs> Tess Christine XO. <laughs> It was amazing. We drove home, went to bed, got on our flight the next morning, super smooth, and now I'm home. And it was such an amazing trip, honestly. It was one of the better trips I've had in a long time. It reminded me a lot of when we went to Ireland in a sense of like we stayed in this little tiny farmhouse in the middle of nowhere and rented a car and drove to so many different beautiful spots. Never felt rushed, never felt crammed, never felt stressed. It was just like perfect and obviously got to eat all the amazing food. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will actually leave a link to my Italy trip from three years ago. I can't believe it's three years ago. Holy crap. I went with my family and being there with my dad was surreal. We did Rome, Sorrento, and the Amalfi Coast. And if you want to see the differences, you can go watch that. It was probably one of my favorite videos I've ever put up on the internet. If you guys have any questions about our trip, um, where we stayed, costs and stuff, feel free to DM me on Instagram or leave it in the comments down below. But um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. If you're planning on going to Italy, I definitely definitely recommend renting a car and staying kind of in the middle of nowhere and really experiencing the culture. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know where we should visit next. And I love you guys all so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. In this abandoned amusement park, we come to life when it turns dark. We're just carnival hearts, you and me.